Hello, hello. So here at Drac, SCLegacy.com. How's it going? Watch this, control N. I remember every time now. Oh, so good. Uh, yeah, game. A game of StarCraft Two: Wings of Liberty. <laughs> Between uh, Nancio! Hey! See, that's how you pronounce his name. He's Italian. Hey! Nancio! Yeah. And Lucifron, who... I believe was a uh, a boss in World of Warcraft or something, but uh, he used to play Warcraft Three. Also, this player, not not the boss in World of Warcraft, he never played Warcraft Three, which is why he died. His micro wasn't good enough. He didn't get he didn't get the invisibility potion to drop, um, or whatever. I don't think that item drops, but whatever, you know. Who gives? Who really gives? I played a lot of Warcraft 3 back in the day. Thousands, of, actually. Thousands. I think I've played more games of Warcraft 3 than StarCraft 1, possibly. Possibly. Took a lot of years, though. A lot of years. People were very proud of me. I met a lot of really nice women. Really got my career going playing <laughs> 6,000 games of Warcraft 3 on the ladder. Um, but yeah. Barracks. Marines come out of there. Bet you Lucifron makes some. I bet you he does. Like I bet you anything he makes a marine. I wish he was making a marine now with his hundred and seventy Oh Snap. Making me look dumb. Instant tech lab. Probably Reaper. Probably Reaper. I wouldn't don't think he'd make a marauder. So, cool. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Opening. Reaper's a good early game unit. Good scout. Good man. Very kind to the elderly. Always pays his bills on time. It's pretty much everything I'm not. The Reaper. <laughs> and there he is building now. He's got a really long build time. But he'll get he'll get done eventually. Pool just about to finish for Nancio, hey! And uh, you know. That's exciting for him, I'm sure. I have no doubt. Fast expand gonna happen. One racks expand for Lucifron. They are cross positions on Neo Temple. I don't know what the what's it called. It's not Lost Temple because they changed it. It's uh, it's like Mega Temple Two, the Reckoning. I think is what it's called. <laughs> and yeah, the beginning of the game is always exciting, guys. I'm sorry. Um, what have I been up to? Oh man, what a question. I still play League of Legends. Um, still watch a lot of StarCraft. I'm <sighs> the ladder's depressing me, man. I can't. <laughs> I'll play like four games and lose them all and just be like, uh, I used to be Master League. What happened? Oh, that's right. I remember what happened, but we won't get into it. Um, what happened was I lost my motivation to, because, uh, you know, in Master League and even High Diamond League, and just any league really, you have to be can't like take a week off and like like you take a week off from starcraft come back you're not going to be as good as you were a week ago you have to be like motivated and ready to win like all the time so <coughs> and uh yeah i am uh i need to be i need to be um more of a champion instead of a casual gamer a League of Legends player now. But uh, I am a StarCraft fan, and really, all you need to do to commentate is be a fan. And I'll always be a fan. I just... won't be quite the expert that I once was. Well, actually, I'd still be an expert. I just won't be as good at the game, okay? So you won't be able to play me on the ladder. It's the only difference. Quit yelling at me. <laughs> Roach Warren. They're both just expanding. Um third being put at the gold for Nertio. Um That's going to cause um, once Lucifron scouts that, that's going to be, s if he scouts it. Ready for as soon as he knows about that, he's going to have to do something about it though because a uh, third at the gold for Zerg is just uh, going to be way too strong for Terran to deal with. Oops, I had it on too fast. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, um, infestation pit being built now. So I don't know if he's, he's probably going to go Infestors, because uh, it's a little early for Tier 3. Um, I don't think he's going to... Although, depending on how well, on how healthy this gold expansion gets, we'll see. 
Um, Overseer spots these dropships. They're not full of anything yet. Neither are these four dropships. So we're going to see it do a pretty standard drop medevac uh, infantry push here. Um, he still doesn't know about the gold expansion. That's where he would be heading if he knew about it, but he doesn't. He doesn't. He thinks he's just on two base. So yeah, I'm on two base. Therefore, he's on two base. Screw it. So yeah, a bit of a mistake there. Um, probably not going to get a uh, break in here. Good micro, though. Look at the way he... I mean, that was really nice. Stepping back micro. Um, I thought those roaches were going to get in there no problem, but uh, Lucifron's micro was impeccable there. So uh, now they're straight up fighting. Uh, there's the micro again. Um, stimming and uh, stutter stepping. Uh, Medivac's doing a ton of healing here. This would have been a free kill over here if he had known about it, but it looks like uh, he's now pulling the drones. Uh, drones going to make a big factor in this fight. Um, he's not going to be able to stay much longer. Um, he didn't fully reinforce. He sent some reinforce. Oh, yeah, he just made a whole bunch of marines. Um, I don't know if he's going to try and come back again, because now he has a lot, uh, too many medevacs and not enough infantry. Did he discover? He did discover, so that's very fortunate for him. I was going to say the game was still about a 50-50, but now that he takes out this hatchery, uh, which he will not. <laughs> yes, he will. Barely, barely. Um, pulls three marines there. Eh. Pulls his stuff up from the medevac, saves some of it, and we're going to see the counterattack now from Nerchio. Nerchio! Hey! And uh, plus one infantry being upgraded. Um, is he did he get the bunker upgrade and I missed it? Those bunk that bunker looks like it's got like extra graphics on it. Oh, no. Um, no, he didn't. He did pull this one out. It has the same amount of armor as always. So I'm just insane. Uh, repairs, a lot of repair going down on this bunker. Um, so yeah, he went to not going to be able to break in. And apparently at the very top levels of the game, and I'm not even talking about these guys. These guys are really good, but I'm talking about like the top, top Koreans. Um, apparently Terran is just OP as hell. Um, up at the up at the Korean level, and uh, apparently they're a little underpowered at all lower levels, so it's kind of it's going to be tricky for Blizzard to balance that. Um, but if anyone can do it, it's them. So so now uh, Lucifer going to take his third of the gold, um, rebuilding the hatchery here, and the gold is Nergio. So um, so far, um, complete domination by Lucifer. Um, economically in battle. I mean, he took away that gold expansion that Nerchio took the big risk of taking really early and pretty much didn't lose much at all. Uh, he's breaking down these rocks here uh, in case he wants to use utilize that path, I guess. Um, and now they're on even footing um, because this is going to start mining the gold. Um, Nerchio is taking a fourth up in the island. But um, he's going to be able to protect this gold expansion, whereas Nerchio was unable to protect this gold expansion. So that's going to be a big factor. Although there is a big group of... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! Remember what I was saying about protecting that gold expansion? That fungal growth just changed everything about that. Oh, my goodness. And uh, yeah. Unfortunate. Planetary Fortress almost done, though, so... Saved by the bell, but he lost a ton of infantry there to that fall. One fungal growth just... Whew really messed him up and uh, immediately he begins making siege tanks with siege mode to deal with that. Um, turrets going down here. Um, no mutilus this game for Nerchio. I applaud that. I applaud Zergs who don't make mutilus. Drop over here on the gold. Um, he is going to do some damage. Took out some drones. Taking out some more now. Um, and looks like he's going to continue to He's got that nice little 300 causeway there. And ooh, tank gets taken out by Zergling. That's not what we want to happen. Um, Lucifron, that fungal growth really spun the game on its heel there. Uh, he's kind of backpedaling now a little bit because of losing that <coughs> that big group of infantry there. Um, he did manage, I mean, he his gold mining never even got interrupted a little bit, so I don't think it's going to be a huge deal, but this fourth base is up now for Nerchio. Um, something metal was burning there, so therefore the Terrans have been there. <laughs> I saw something made of metal burning, all right? That means he knows about it. Because the Zerg don't use metal. They're not into that. They, didn't, they don't have blacksmiths. Bug blacksmiths. Um, imbuing your items. Charcy the Roach. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a Blizzard fanboy reference there. Y'all know it. Um, 
He's going to push out now. He uh, managed to, the gold the economy from this gold base kicked in, and he was able to macro up a huge army really quickly. He's got three tanks. He has the same number of medevacs he didn't really need anymore, but he got a nice big, a nice big hefty ball of infantry there. He's got to look out for these fungal growths, though, and there's a nice fungal growth going down there. The medevacs are doing their best, but there's just so many investors. Nerchi is spending a lot of gas, but he has the gas to spend, so... Um, I don't know if tanks are going to be enough. Uh, Spire's being built now for Nerchio. Uh, you know, Lucifron. I mean, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, Lucifron. Probably should think about utilizing ghosts if he's going to use this many investors. I mean, tanks are pretty good, but they kind of count on Luce, or on Nerchio making the mistake of walking too far into them. Um, now that Burrows, um, there is vision. Uh, Infested Terrans being laid down all over these tanks, and uh, yeah, Infested Terrans uh, from a burrowed position will definitely counter those tanks. So uh, infantry is going to come in now. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like none of these, none of the, none of the Infestors have enough to uh, fund the growth anymore. They don't have enough energy. So um, it looks like he may have Infested Terran a bit too much. He wanted to save a couple of those for the fungal growth. So now this gold is going to get taken out again. Uh, just barely hanging on enough with these tanks to uh, to take out this base. And really, it was it was Nerchio's mistake of like using too many too many infested marines. And here comes another tank reinforcement with a ton of marines. Um, and there's a GG from Nerchio. Guess he didn't need ghosts after all. But um, it was scary. He might have. He might have needed to make ghosts there, but. Um, the Infestors ran out of energy, fortunately, for Lucifron. So there's that game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoy making love to me on the internet. Hey, Jacqueline Geller. And, uh, yeah. Alright. This has been Sahara Drac. Hope you guys uh, have a good one.